Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 21, Football Manager 20. Oh, last episode, man, that was a rough one. A rough one. Um, in the practice uh, leading up to today's match, our goalkeeper, Callum Fitzpatrick, pulled his calf muscle, so he's out for a while. The good news is Philip Sommer, our leading scorer, is coming back from injury, but he's going to need match fitness. So we still have some injury woes there. If we take a look, we also uh, we beat juniors 4-1. to one. And Check this out. Fabian Dittmar, center back, all four goals. Three of them came off of corner kicks, and one of them came off of a, of a free kick. Uh all four headers, what a game. And this game, he set a new single-game scoring record for the club, breaking uh, and a new single-scoring league game for the club. So, uh, good on him. Frank, Frank. Okay, that's cool. Hey, cat. Um also, that was our 16th win of the season, which matches the most wins in a season for the club. And you can see we still have six games to play. So the next win sets a new club record for wins in a season. Not sure how that's possible, being that we had a pretty good year last year. But oh well. All right, we are on the road. We are pretty heavy underdogs, so we're going to go with our heavy underdog away tactic. <laughs> Fillinger is going to be in goal. We are not going to have a keeper on the bench. Sommer is back. Morning is up there with him. Uh, I need... have to do that I've promised Lubke some more game time but we'll see how that goes I, I may just end up having to get rid of him I don't want to because he is a young Austrian but it's one of those things I can't if it's going to cost me matches and Gilroy is the better player Although we are, you know, he is leaving at the end of the season. So, honestly, I just assume play Lubke and try to get him developed, right? All right, we're in the red today. The the little French-looking uniforms is B.W. Lenz. Fillinger makes a nice grab there. All right, Distel back from his suspension. Little scissor kick volley. To clear it back out to midfield. Don't don't sit on the ball, please. That's that's not good. Come on, fellas. Just don't scissor kick him. Lubke with the steal, but he can't beat his man. But he does fight for the ball. That's good. Oh, what a drop pass! And Mick Morning, his eleventh goal. Philip Sommer. Back on the pitch, and we have found the goal thanks to his leadership and I for the net. That was great. Lubke with a nice nice op opportunity there, to be fair. All right, let's get creative. They're fired up. We're inspired. Ellers. Oh, that's, uh, yep, yeah. Armin Ellers. You know, it's great when it works for you. I actually like those kits, but um, probably because they, they're red, white, and blue. Um, it's just appealing to my eye. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, five guys watch that ball drop right into the middle of our box. Not sure how I feel about that. And I do know how I feel about that. 
that's not good. Um, how about demand more? But we're not going to watch that again. All right, they are focused. I think they got a little overconfident. All right, Distel, long throw. Oh, the keeper goes up. Nice save. You guys know, I hadn't seen it before, but in FM20, we started seeing where the goalkeeper would have the ball and he would kick it and it would like bounce off of an attacker and then go in for a goal. And we always, you know, I always thought that was like bullshit, that that could not happen. I was watching a video the other day and it was like crazy goals, you know, type thing. And do you know, there was an actual goal there where the guy, oh, it drops in. Mick Morning, his 12th, and that's a second goal in the first half. Um, and sure enough, there was a there was a goal where the keeper went to kick the ball, and the striker was running away, so his back was to him. It hit him in the back of the head and bounced into the goal. You know, and I went, well, by God, SI, kudos to you. We're programming that into the game when that shit actually happened. Because I thought that was baloney when I first saw it. But I saw it on a video of actual footage of a game. I just had no idea. No idea. All right, let's get creative in the early going. Everybody's looking good. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. All right. Make them work some passes. Ooh, thank God you didn't tackle him. And there's Ellers. First off, he hits from that angle. And how, between the keeper and a defender, did they not close him down? How is the keeper so far off the freaking line? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all right, Navillo has gotten hurt. All right, we're going to bring Grima in for him. Sommer, Weigel. I don't want to push him too hard. I mean, he's only at 62% match sharpness. So we need demand more. All right, distal into the box. Cleared out. Bernhardt. Bakari. Lubke, Vigel, and into the side of the net. I thought Vigel was going to go down for a penalty right there. Ugh. I am a little disappointed. Um, Polisteris, let's get you on for a few minutes. Ah, come on. I would have liked to have pulled a draw here, but that's two loss, three losses in a row. Well, three losses in a row that you guys have seen. Oh, we let that one get away. Mick Morning with a great game. Except for you. I am going to tell you that I'm very happy with your performance. We'll give that to him. Navillo, two to three days. Morning had a good game. And we're up to 35%, I guess. All right, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. All right, we are back for the next match against Lifering. We are the home team. We are favored, so we're going to jump up to our home tactic. 
I'm going to go with Gilroy this time. Macari, Barnhart, Distal. Sommer is still lacking in match sharpness. But that's to be expected. I mean, he missed, what, six weeks? Something like that. So we certainly can't begrudge him being a little out of match sharpness. All right. We're playing out of the back here. Billinger in goal. Nice ball up to Barnhart. Bakari. Oh, he dinks it over there. Oh, that was so close. He almost picked that pass out. No, oh, that would have been a nice, nice opportunity. And they're moving the ball well. Look at that. Oh, why can't we do that? <laughs> Oh, he cuts outside, takes a shot. And we got a little lucky there. Oof. Got a little lucky there. All right, Distel into the box. All right, Distel into Bakari. Just not seeing the crisp passing. He plays it all the way back. That was that was odd. You know, we were in a what appeared to be a good attacking position. And there's a nice ball over the top. Novello, what a shot! His fifth of the season. Raphael Bernhardt with the assist. Lud Ludovic Novello. That was a beautiful, beautiful goal. I am liking that. Let's give them some praise. They get fired up by that. Uh, what happened to Navillo here? I didn't see him get hurt. He's exhausted? He certainly was not. Oh, nice chest down by Sommer. Cuts it inside. Oh, gets knocked away from morning right back to Sommer, and he pops his 18th in. Do we make that move? God, I hate to do that already, but mid-right. I guess let's bring, uh, let's bring Grima on. I guess we'll make the sub here. All right, uh, da, 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 da. concentrate. They're not going to like that one, but pounce on it. Sommer's there. Sommer's there. He takes a shot. It was a rough angle. Yeah, they didn't like that shout. I just want him to focus. I don't want him to get up 2 nothing and then, you know, lose lose track of things here. Come on, boys. They're walking it back, looking for an opening. Oh, there you go. Oh. That was a horrible pass. Oh, good, good tackle. Yeah, I'd rather give him the corner, but, you know, you had enough time I think he could have rotated and, and played it off to the side. Just saying. Just saying. Good deflection. All right. Playing well there. Yep, played well. Let's get into the second half. All right, let's get creative. Oh, man, Dietmar Klama, his first goal. These guys that score their first goals this late in the season, they look like freaking Lionel Messi. Look at that. Had a little knuckle on the ball from way out there. Damn. 
All right, we need to do something here. There we go. Good interception of the ball. No, that's no bueno. All right. Um, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Hurry up. I need some passion. Damn it. Come on. Yes, show me some passion. All right, we're going to keep these guys in for a little while. Fillinger is, okay, he's back to composed. Everybody's playing well. Bakari. No, that's not a good, it's not a good pass. I mean, we got the defensive header. It goes right to their guy. No, no, he was, he was, he was on the ball and the other guy ran into him. If I'm laying down two miles in front of you and you trip over me, that's your fault. All right. Thankfully, he kicked it right to him. You know, I think I'm, I'm going to pause it here. I think their manager or their player realized that was such a horrible call, right? That's why he kicked it right to the keeper and made an easy save. Marcelo Bielsa is tied in with this club, with Lifering, and he said, that was a horrible officiating call. Don't score the penalty because we don't deserve the penalty. And I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. All right. Um, Bernhardt, he's on a yellow, man. I don't like that. So let's bring Polisteris on. And... Gilroy, I'm going to bring Baum on for him. Love he's about to the point he kissed my butt. All right, we got some pressure on him defensively. Oh, that's not good. All right, good job getting it out of bounds instead of a corner. We could be happy with that. All right, I am going to go in. We're going to do a little bit of time wasting. And we are going to condense our lines just a touch. And we're going to tell them to tighten up. They're frustrated. I get it. As long as they do it. <laughs> oh, where yet? Fillinger gets there. All right, just hold it and punt it. Just punt it into the other end of the field. Ooh. No, that's that's not good. That's not good. What are y'all doing? Oh, good job. There you go. Play it. Oh, nice through ball. Morning's there. Oh, he drops it inside. Grima. Oh, my God. <laughs> it hit the woodwork. Oh, that would have sealed it. Oh, that was unlucky. There's a header. Great save by Schmidt Butkus. Oh, come on. Nice. Good ball, Summer. Uh, I would have liked that to have gone in. But that's good. We'll take it. Two to one. We played evenly matched. I'm happy. That was a tough game. Uh, I am going to go assertive. A good win. Well done. I could have gone with the why can't we play that way more often, but we have picked up two wins out of three. Nine, that's five. So they've drawn a couple. We're back within five, and we're on even footing with Wolfsburger, plus five in the goal differential. 
All right. So. We're going to play the two away games, and then we will come back for Amstetten and the aforementioned Wolfsburger for the season finale. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.